I don't know if you saw the maiden flight of the Dago Red, but <laughs> it's a good looking plane, but it made me look pretty bad. And so I'm back for round two. We're gonna see if we can clean things up. I've got Expo in here. Boy, it was squirrely. Worth a watch if you wanna see me kind of fail. As it turns out, YouTube's full of people that wanna see me fail. So that video exists. You'll get a kick out of it, go watch it. And we may get some more failage going on in today's video. I'm hoping not, you're hoping so. So let's fly. This wind is not helping much either. It's a cross breeze. It's not much, but it's enough to make me mad. <laughs> okay. No prop strikes. Oh, wee. Oh, okay, wee. All right. Just, just about the same takeoff as last time. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, it's not me, I swear. Landing gear is up. That's what I they all say. 25% expo on the elevator. Is that enough? I told you to double it. <laughs> That's from what I normally would use? Yes. Yeah, oh, Abby. <laughs> you didn't do that, did you? It's a little smoother. It's a little smoother. We're doing okay. Woo! <laughs> this oh, is roll. The first flight was a 4,000 milliamp battery. That's not telemetry. That was my throttle being stuck there at, um, like, right on that beeping point. So the first battery is a 4,000 milliamp. This time I'm flying on a 3,200 milliamp. It feels a bit smoother, but on, it's just, if I, if I full throttle this thing, it's just gonna go like porpoise mode like this. That's me with the elevator, but that's what it feels like is happening. Oh boy. What's going on? Is it just my receiver setup or do other people? See, I don't, I don't watch videos of airplanes before I fly mine. I like to have my own opinion of an airplane. Um, and currently my opinion of this plane is maybe I've done something wrong. So anyone else out there watching, do you own this plane and is it a great airplane? Should I just put in a fresh dumb receiver so I'm not fighting this uh, AS3X and safe setup right now from my old turbo timber? That's what I've done. That's what I've done. Was that a huge mistake? Um, I've never really taken very many bind and fly planes that I've crashed and reused their receivers as, as a receiver for this current plane I'm flying, but I did that with today's. Um, I have an old turbo timber, crashed it horribly <laughs> not too long ago off camera sadly. And so I got I, your landing on camera, but not the crash part. Yeah, I yanked the receiver uh, out of it and here we have it in the Dago. And so maybe that's my fatal flaw. And if so, I will absolutely yank this receiver out and do a follow up because I love this plane. So I'd like to hear from you guys. Why? Why is Nate's plane flying poo-poo today? <laughs> it's flying, but it's not doing what I want to do. I really want to rip this thing full throttle. You know, you know how I fly. I want to show you guys full throttle. There's full throttle, but it's going crazy. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> oh my gosh, it just keeps going up. Yeah. Oh, it I climbs lose it. it does. And I'm missing half my prop. Here we go. This climbs. <laughs> You're not missing half of it. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, I could climb this thing. Oh, I know. Easily. And then That's when I take max. my hands off the sticks, it um, flies pretty straight. And I've got it trimmed up well. So, yeah, I'm very much out of my, like, comfort zone with this plane right now and how it's flying and my setup and stuff. So, uh, you're not alone. You're not alone for those of you that ever feel... There we go. That was fun. Feel like uh, you've done something wrong. I totally did something wrong with this setup. So here we go. Landing gear down. Uh, let's see it. Oh, it's gonna be bad because one one of the sides is really soft. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go half flaps. I got half flaps on. Ah, uh, I can feel the Abby laughs already. You can do it. Oh boy. Bleed off the speed. That's Bleed it off. Doing, but I don't want to stop. Don't it touch either. it yet. Oh, no. Oh, you touched it too no, soon. Oh, I touched it. Oh, I touched it. Oh. <laughs> oh, guys. Just not my usual fun of airplanes. Oh. It's definitely, can't just be the plane's fault, right? Look at that poor landing gear. Oh. Oh, you bent it again. <laughs> okay. Dago Red. <laughs> One thing I am good at is bending that back in place. <laughs> Would we watch a whole video of me bending landing gear back in place and then it functioning properly? Because that I can show off. I'm pretty sure I do that on a daily basis. 
flaps are still working. It's, it's there. I think what I'm gonna do is put in a different receiver and see how that does because I've had it with this setup. And I actually, I think I'm gonna need new prop too. <laughs> Still sounds good, good, but yeah, that sucker is Only like the equivalent. Only when it's not moving does it look bad. <laughs> that is what you call a sawed off shotgun prop right there. <laughs> wow, okay, great looking plane. It's just not making me look very good and I may probably not making it look very good either. I don't think we should let that be a true indication of the airplane. So let's all together go down to the comments and read what I just did wrong and uh, see if it's a good flying plane. And we'll follow up with this plane, I guarantee, down the road at least one more time with a different receiver because I've wanted this plane for a long time. I don't want it to uh, fly poorly, so I'm going to keep working at it. Probably order a new prop and put a different receiver in there and might just be done with that receiver. I don't know. Maybe if I did a factory reset on that receiver and then started from the ground up, that would be a good idea. Well, you know, we win some, we lose some. And today I feel like I lost some. Hey, your plane is in one piece. You did not lose, sir. Well, thank you. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. It's still not, you know, where I want to be. And uh, I just want to get this thing back in the air. I'm, I'm taking this on as a challenge. So we'll see how it goes down the road. Uh, but I still love the way it looks. I'm sure it can fly very well in the right hands and with the right setup. And so we'll have this linked in the description box below if you want to pick one up for yourself. I'm still grateful for today. I feel a little bit beat up, but it's a beautiful day. We got to get out and fly and share this experience with you guys. I hope that you seeing me struggle <laughs> kind of lets you know you're not alone if you ever feel that way because I know we all feel that way. I mean, I felt that way uh, earlier today just trying to set this thing up. I had my switches off and uh, had I had the landing gear and safe combined on the same switch. And that's just, you know, when the landing gear was down, safe was off. When the landing gear was up, safe was on. That's just not good. So it took me a while to figure that out. I just want you guys to know, uh, you know, sometimes we have challenges, we, we get over those hurdles, and that's what life is all about, right? Uh, for all of that, I thank God, just reminding me that I'm alive, and today is just another great day to be alive. I also want to say a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters, because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your amazing support. If you want to see double struggles with this plane, we'll have my maiden flight of that video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye!